she beaming, I be booming down that block. Down that block. Everywhere you go, you know they know I'm hot. What's up? What's going on, my good people? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are doing well. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into today's video. Today is Thursday, September 7th, and we just made it to our hotel room. We are in Miami for my honey's 40th birthday. Yes, she is coming on over to the 4040 Club, and we came here to celebrate. Um, we, it's Thursday. We are here until Tuesday? Mm-hmm. Okay, girl, I can't, I can't keep up with nothing. Okay, so, um, yeah, y'all, we had an early flight this morning. We flew Spirit, as usual. I know some people in the comments, like, you gonna be a Spirit. Okay, all right, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> spirit really ain't that bad, y'all, for real. Like, no on the real, Spirit is really not that bad, seriously. Um, we Our flight was at 7, so we got here at 9 to our flight. And we flew into Fort Lauderdale. And we caught an Uber to Miami. Yeah, because we had a really good deal. Honey got a really good deal on our tickets um, to Fort Lauderdale. So that's why we ended up flying to Fort Lauderdale. Because y'all look, the tickets flying to Miami from Columbus, it was like 500 a ticket. We ended up getting our two tickets with Spirit, including choosing our seats, including our bags, for like less than $500, right? Yeah. So we got a really good deal. And our Uber was only $40. So anyways um yeah so we are here we're at our hotel i'm gonna show you our room in a second um also real quick y'all guess what's happening the locks are coming back y'all the locks are on their way back can y'all see that i got my hair done last night shout out to toya over at next level barber shop and salon in whitehall um yeah she did my hair y'all so i told myself that you know when i combed out my locks i was like if my sides ever grow back and they finally did finally here long and strong i was like i'm gonna get my locks back so it felt right and i'm happy i'm excited about going on the journey again um if you are new to the channel i combed my locks out in august of 2021 and i had locks for 10 years and it was nice exploring my natural hair but now it's time to get back to the hairstyle that i love y'all my locks are my absolute favorite hairstyle and i missed them i'm not gonna lie first at first i didn't miss it because it was something different you know what i mean um and i had to get used to a lot of different things and i got to play around with products and stuff like that which was fun but now we're done <laughs> yeah natural hair is a lot natural hair is a lot to manage you know and i feel like I, I got the hang of it um but i did what i was supposed to do and now it's on to another journey so yeah y'all the locks are back so i'm happy i'm excited um yeah so let me go ahead and show y'all the room. We're going to get something to eat. Uh, we might go live. Maybe. We'll see. Because what time is it? What time is it right now? 10? 11. Oh, it's 11. Okay, it's 11 o'clock. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, let me show y'all the room. All right, y'all. So this is what the room looks like. Has a big mirror right here. Some other mirrors on the wall got a sitting area here a desk it's a long desk um the bed king size bed like a couch area and there are two closets so there's a closet here and then there's a closet here behind this door right here there go honey right there <laughs> honey right there um tv tv um, over here is a like a bar area coffee situation. So that's over here in the corner. Um, let me show you the bathroom real quick. Bathroom. I like the colors. I like the colors a lot. So toilet. It smells really clean in here too, which I love. The mirror. Shower. And then y'all, I just opened, I just opened the blinds. We we'll moved them up. Y'all, we're really close to the beach. Can y'all see that? Let me try to zoom in a little bit. We are definitely walking distance. I think y'all can see it, but go in a little closer. Can y'all see the water from right here? And the cool thing is that with our stay, there's a company that is um, like, when you go to the beach, there's a company that's out there where they have like towels and like beach chairs and stuff. We get that for free, it's included with our stay. So all we have to do is show our room key and we'll be able to get towels and beach chairs whenever we decide to go to the beach. So we're really close, so that's cool. So we're definitely sitting out on the beach and being some beach bums. Um, so I'm excited about that, y'all. 
so that's the room we're about to go figure out food we are we're very sleepy we did not get much sleep last night at all at all i think honey but i got a story for y'all real quick hold on let me, let me turn this around real quick all right y'all so a quick little story time about something that happened this morning okay so when i got my hair done yesterday i probably made it home about 9 p.m and i just had a bunch of stuff to do y'all i did I, I just i don't even know i started packing while my parents were in town and then that was all i did <laughs> so i had to get my toiletries together i had to like finish packing i had did a load of laundry that was you know had dried before i left i just had all this stuff to do right getting myself together whatever so by the time i looked up i probably was done about i probably was done like at one o'clock y'all because i had stuff to do outside of packing and preparing for the trip right so once i did all this stuff it was about 1 1 30 um i was at my place honey was at her she was packing so we talking to each other checking in like babe what you doing what you working on what you got going on house packing coming along whatever she has stuff she had to wrap up so we doing our, our stuff right so i'm like babe i'm gonna come to your house at 4 30 and i'm gonna get i'm gonna leave my place at 4 30 it probably it, it my, i live maybe i don't know seven to ten minutes away from her like two lights away from her is how far i live right so i'll be i'm gonna leave my house at 4 30 i'll be to your house no later than 4 45 we gonna leave at five because like our, our flight started boarding at like 6 15 so whatever right so okay boom so first of all i lay down i'm done with everything at like 1 30 i took a shower i laid down like at two something y'all i kind of I, I heard my alarm this morning but i snoozed so I, I hop up and I'm like, oh shit. Like I'm panicking because I'm thinking that we are, are gonna miss our flight. That's what I'm thinking. So I look at my phone and it's almost 4.30. It's like 4.28. So I hop up and I already took my shower and stuff. So I get up, wash my face, brush my teeth. Um, I have my clothes pulled out. I get dressed, right? Get dressed, boom. I'm out the house by like 4.37. I get to her house still at like 4.45 because she lived down the street. So I get there and I'm trying to be, you know how, you know everything to seem real loud at night. Now, mind you, before I left my apartment, I called her. She didn't answer. I'm like, I bet you she's still over there asleep. I bet you anything. Because she said she was going to get up at like 4.30 as well. I mean, that she was going to get up at 4 something too, right? So, I called her. She didn't answer. I'm like, I know she sleeps. So, I get over there. And I feel like I'm just like tiptoeing around. Like, I feel like I'm being super quiet because everything just seems really, really loud, right? So, I get into the house. I have my, my luggage and stuff with me because we're driving her car to the airport. And so, I go into her room, y'all. And when I tell you she jumped up she like she she rose up real fast and screamed at the top of her lungs like she was in a horror film like i was like babe right y'all it was so funny and like her heart was racing she could not get her shit together she couldn't like she couldn't gather herself to like process what was happening you know what i'm saying it's like not even like why are you here Rhonda? it's just like what is happening right so she screams at the top of her lungs she can't slow down her heart and i'm like babe you need to get like get up like we need to go you know what i'm saying like i'm sorry i scared you i start i'm sorry that i startled you and she was like oh, i just dozed off at 4 17. y'all she why did she try to go to sleep at 4 17 when we had to leave at five what would you try to do take a nap it was good i mean i was able to function not the way you screamed you wasn't ready you wasn't settled you was about to get walked how when you knew i was coming over <laughs> that's that's the thing i don't understand y'all i've never heard anybody in my life scream like that Okay. And I was like, damn. Final destination. I honestly, I, get from I thought that like the police or somebody was going to come. I'm like somebody is going to think that you really in here getting, you know what I'm saying? Getting at work. Like, damn. So anyways, y'all, that was very funny. It was, it was funny. It was hilarious. So she got herself together. And also another experience that I had today real quick, y'all. Um, I've never really, it's never been crowded at the Columbus airport. Like I usually get through there in like 10 minutes. Y'all, we get there. We pull up at what, like 530? Mm -hmm. Y'all, I... Yeah. it was stacked it was people Shut everywhere mm -hmm. it was people everywhere i'm like i have never seen the airport like this on i'm like on a thursday you know what i'm saying especially after a holiday i just wasn't expecting to see that many people so it was really crowded but you know we was done with everything by like 5 55 6 o'clock um and we had a super smooth flight everything was smooth everything was on point our pilot was amazing so anyways y'all enough of that let's go figure this food thing out because i'm hungry i know you hungry too and then i feel like i mean i want to go live but I also want to go to sleep too, so we're gonna see. All right, let's go. You ready, babe? Mm -hmm. All right.
good morning what's up y'all uh today is friday it's september 8th it's about 10 45 in the morning um honey is in the shower she's getting herself dressed i'm dressed and ready to go already um we are about to go to breakfast our hotel has breakfast um they serve breakfast until 11 30 i believe so we're going to eat then we are going to walk over to the beach and later on we're going to happy hour happy hours from four to seven so we're going to happy hour later and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do later on tonight, depending on how we feel. I feel like we're gonna need a nap um, after happy hour, because I doubt we'll have time to squeeze it in before we go to happy hour. So um, I'm really having a good time. I am, our first night was fun. Our first night was really, really fun. Y'all, we were so tired yesterday, oh my goodness. So I, I went live yesterday. Shout out to everybody that came through to the live and had a drink with me. I had a Corona while I was on the live. Um, after the live, y'all, we went to sleep. I went to sleep for like three hours. I Man, I was going to lay down for like an hour. I didn't set an alarm or anything, but I just didn't think I was going to sleep that long. I kept on waking up, and I just could not keep my eyes open. I couldn't. So yesterday was a cool day, but we, we needed that rest, though. And she went to bed before I did last night. She probably went to sleep about 10, 30, 11 o'clock. I went to bed about 12, 30, 12, 45. Um, so we went to Wet Willie's. We had drinks. We had y'all them wings. The wings that y'all saw in the clip like a, a few minutes before this, y'all, them wings were so good. Oh my goodness. Man, okay, so we had the honey sriracha honey sriracha wings and the tequila sauce wings. I've never had tequila sauce wings before, so, so I wanted to try it. And I've had plenty of honey sriracha wings. I was like, okay, cool. Y'all, I went to Wet Willie's back in 2011 when I came um, to to miami but i didn't eat we was just there to drink we was there to get fucked up basically <laughs> that's why we i think we ate before we went so i didn't i didn't, I didn't have any food and so when i looked at the menu we were walking by yesterday i'm like let's just go in and let's just pop in i know the drinks will be good but let's just get some food and it's like bar food you know what i mean um but i'm like okay you can't really go go wrong with wings y'all them wings i'm telling you top three top three that's how good that wing was it was so good that i was asking the server about it and she was telling me they have like these they're slow marinated like overnight and then they like double bake them and i'm like yo that wing was tender and just oh chef's kiss so good man that that honey sriracha oh my god that was too good that's definitely the best honey sriracha wing i've ever had for sure flavor wise and it's just a top three wing overall you know what i'm saying the way it was prepared the way how tender it was like because chicken is really easy to mess up you know what i'm saying to overcook it rubbery undercook it dry it out like it's really easy to mess chicken up so yeah delicious so if you if you have a wet willies you know if you come to miami or any of the other locations don't forget to eat you should check out their food um the caesar salad we had was really good too so yeah we went there then we went to Awalita's tacos and the food was good the service was great the service was great shout out to our server diego y'all he had so much personality he was really cool uh we had we had a good time we had fun and i just we, we're in such a great location that we were able we've been able to walk everywhere so far so um yeah so that's it i just wanted to check in with y'all real quick i'm ready to eat i think i'm gonna give me some pancakes or i don't know i want something good they have a lot of options on the menu so um i'll see y'all for breakfast so i'll see y'all in a few minutes I wanted to show y'all, honey, before we leave. Y'all look at her looking good. Look, look at her. Okay. Come on, Jim. <laughs> you look good, baby. Ow. Oh, look at her. <laughs> look at her bathing suit is so cute. She put some black biker shorts, shorts on um, so we can go eat. But she looks, you look good. Thank you. Honey. You look really good. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> because I'm the best. Uh, yes, All you right. are. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Uh, One, two, two, three. three. Whoa, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, look, look. There you go. Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, birthday, dear Lisha. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Woo! Woo! Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank yes. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, that was so sweet. Perfect. All right, y'all. So we are wrapping up breakfast, and this beautiful person, this beautiful human, just walked up to us, Phoenix Xavier. She's right here. I'm going to turn the camera around on her in just a second. Y'all, she has these amazing products. I'm going to share everything right now. She was talking to us, and I'm like, you know what? Let me, hold on. Let me get the camera so I can tell the GP fam about what she got going on. You know, we always talk about hair care, skin care, all that. So, why not? Let me go ahead and put y'all on real quick. Let me turn the camera around. One second. All right, so she's going to put y'all on, y'all. Hey family, how y'all doing? I'm Phoenix Xavier. I ran across these two beautiful ladies and of course I had to come to let them know about my business, my brand called The One. One is an acronym that stands for original, natural, and essential just like we are. So currently I have a couple of the best products out there. I have what's called a growth oil. Let me get that up close. All so right. my growth oil will enhance and it will grow your hair, especially making your hair strands stronger. So I have castor, olive, grapeseed oil in there, but I also have something called corn silk. Even though a lot of you may not have heard of corn silk, it's the hairy part that's removed of the corn. So I'm gonna put it all on something new. Mm -hmm. So it does make your hair strand stronger. Then I have something called a hair pomade. I don't know if you can get the waves in. Oh, let, me, let me get the waves. Hold on, let me stand up for this now. Hold on, hold on. All right, uh, 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 all right, all right, all right. There we go, okay. Y'all seasick? Y'all seasick? Yeah, yeah okay. I you hope might... I make y'all seasick, but this product right here, it's called a hair pomade. So this is the sample. I got the pink label for the ladies and the blue for the fellas. Oh, that's dope, okay. So right here, this is what it looks like. Oh, oh okay. Nice consistency, it'll melt right in your palms. You apply it, it'll get you nice and wavy like me, bring out the curls and everything. Okay, right, and so I can use this on my locks, right? You can, my apologies, you can use it on your locks, your braids, your twists, natural hair, perm hair, all types of hair. Okay, all right, got it. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to put her Instagram in the description, but also on the screen as well. Y'all check her out. Give her a follow. She got some reviews on there, too, of other people that have used the product. Thank you so much for walking up to no, us, for talking you. to us. And she told us about a bunch of places we can go to, y'all. We're going to get us some Haitian food. So, y'all make sure to follow her page. Thank you so much. All right, thank y'all. All right, y'all. We are back at the room. I think we have a change of plans. We were sitting here talking. Okay, so first of all, we came back to the room to take a shot. So, yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm laying down, so I'm not looking at the camera. Where's the camera? Where's the, oh, there's a the camera. It's right here, babe. Right there. <laughs> I see, I see it. Okay, so we taking shots. She got her shot. Let me get mine. Hold that, babe. Hold it right Okay, there. I'm going to hold the camera like okay. this. Baby, get your hand out the back. <laughs> Girl, get it back. Get it back. <laughs> this is why I don't do this, Okay, so we came to take a shot. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <clears throat> Woo! But we also are going to go to the pool our pool mm -hmm. and our hotel instead of going to the beach oh yeah because you know what shout out to may y'all saw may when we was eating breakfast Ooh, <laughs> yo first so of all fun. she she is a virgo mm -hmm. her birthday Tuesday. is on tuesday so sh shout out to may happy birthday may y'all she had so much energy she was dope i really Ooh, loved her she was, fun, yeah. she was so much fun she was she bought she bought honey a um a muffin yeah, with a, she with had the little candle. with a little makeshift candle mm -hmm. so we had a really good time uh, y'all we just we mean some fire ass people out here. So, anyways, I also wanted to tell y'all about what happened at the airport yesterday. Uh, I forgot all about this, y'all. Okay, so look, and some of y'all probably can relate. If you catch Uber, Lyft pretty often, maybe you've experienced this, but I, I can't. You, you can't fuck around with this kind of stuff. So, we were trying to decide if we were going to take the train, the Bright Line. Is that what's called? Bright mm -hmm, Line. Bright Line. Yeah. Decide if we we're going to take the train from Fort Lauderdale to Miami. Or catch an Uber. Mm -hmm. We were like, let's go with an Uber, right? So we catch an Uber. We walk over to the station where we have to be to get picked up for ride sharing. The guy had a, a pretty high rating. He had good reviews. Um, 
and he was like nine minutes away so you know we, we yeah we wait and we do our thing we <laughs> wait we see i see another blue the car was a blue maxima mm -hmm. and i'm like oh that was him oh that's not him whatever so he's almost here then i get the little thing like letting me know he was pulling up he's arriving yeah this man pulled up y'all y'all in a black charger right and it had like tinted windows everywhere there was no fishbowl action it was like no, very com weird completely yeah. tinted like super dark mm -hmm. so he go i he he pulls up rolls the window down and i can see his picture so i can tell it's him mm -hmm. and i'm like you here for Rhonda? and he was like yeah what's up like you y'all yeah y'all ready mm -hmm. and i'm and not mind you he looked kind of sketchy i ain't gonna lie mm -hmm. sketchy in terms of like you up to no good you mm -hmm. know you know you can just tell people you know energy is very important of course, I was thrown off because I saw the wrong car, but his energy just in general didn't feel feel right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So I was like, I thought you had a blue Maxima. He was like, ha ha. He was like, somebody hit my car or whatever. But he said it in like a creepy kind of way. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like Kruger. Kind like, of like, ha 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 ha. You know? And I'm thinking like, well, I was like, nah, bro. I was like, we can, nah, we good. He was like, for real. I was like, yeah, for real. Like you could go on with all that shit, right? So he laughs it off and he just skirts off, right? He like, like revs the engine and take off. I'm like, hell no. Nah. And Ooh, I had was way too calm about you canceling the ride. It was yeah, just, weird. it was just weird. Was just so weird. I was like, I don't want to be charged for that. So I reached out to Lyft and then they, I had to talk to somebody on live chat. I told them what happened. He was like, oh, that's a violation of our guidelines. Like you can't mm -hmm. drive around in a car that's not on file. You know what I'm saying? He was like, that's a safety issue. I'm like, exactly. So it became this whole thing or whatever. But y'all be careful. Make sure. Do not get in the car. Mm -hmm. Check if, the license plate. Check the license plate. Mm -hmm. Make sure that it's the same vehicle um, that's on file. Because you know it's just too much shit out here happening. You know what I'm saying? And that's the same thing that happened to me when I went to the DR last year. Did I ever tell you that like when I went. That's how I found out that like the cat, the taxi driver I had the whole time was because this woman kept watching people watch me. Uh -huh. And she kept walking to me like senorita, senora do you need a ride? And I'm like. No, I'm going to call an Uber. And she pulled me to the side. She was like, Ubers and Lyfts aren't allowed to run in the DR because of human trafficking. For real? And she was like, this is who you need to ride with. So she took me to my guy. And even after I got home back to the States, he checked to make sure I got home okay. For real? When I went to the DR. And he took, he made, he took me from the hotel, I mean, from the airport to my resort and then picked me up from my resort and took me all the way into the airport to make sure I got on my plane. And then checked on me after I landed at home. Yeah. He was like, next time you come to the DR, please call me or any of my friends. Or I'll make sure you find somebody on WhatsApp. It's, it's important. So. It's important to make sure to like, you know, because I feel, I feel like sometimes, especially if you're tired, you've been traveling. you can, mm -hmm. We can kind of like overlook things. Like if y'all been around, y'all know the experience I had in Tampa where it was, it was sketchy. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And I'm glad that nothing happened. But like, you know, make sure you like share your ride with somebody else. Mm -hmm. Follow the ride, especially if you're somewhere you've never been before. I feel like sometimes like we can get real lax. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like me, I follow the ride, making sure ain't no funny business going on, you know? Yeah, because I'm I'm the one that be in the Lyft and Uber with her going to sleep. And she <laughs> told me stop doing that. You got to stop. Like, you, see, but she, if you with me, that's fine. Like, as yeah. long as you're not by yourself. I'm not going to be by myself going yeah, to sleep. Yeah, yeah. But when she, when she when, with me. When she with she, me, I give her the phone. Yeah, she be knocked out. It. Cool. <laughs> she was knocked out yesterday. Like, trust me, that head was bobbing and she lucky i won't put that footage in here you like, better not put that footage in here y'all ronda, ronda gonna be fully locked and loaded in other ways playing with me <laughs> no but for, i just wanted to share that with y'all real quick that like you know that it was it was sketchy and i'm glad that we were paying attention and that we were alert because mm -hmm. you know like you said when you're trying to get to your destination sometimes you can kind of be lax about certain things you know so y'all be careful out there because trafficking is very real and um yeah that's it so i just wanted to check in real quick yeah. and let y'all know about how amazing it was downstairs yeah we had a ball and now we're going to the pool Ho if it's crowded we gonna go to the beach okay because i because okay so so may was like i'm sorry y'all i had a big order at the pool whatever because she was gone for a minute so if the pool is like wild and we can't get a seat maybe we'll go to the beach what you yeah. think about that we'll see we'll, we'll see we'll just see y'all when we get there wherever we go we'll see y'all all right bye y'all <laughs>
up, y'all? Honey is here. The birthday girl. Tomorrow is her birthday, y'all. Um, today is uh, Saturday, September 9th. It is about 6.20 in the morning. We are walking over to the beach. We want to watch the sunrise. We're going to go do a little journaling as well while we out there. And, um, you know, just get our day started in a beautiful way. So, going to bring y'all along with us today. We are going to a day party. And then we're going for cigars and dinner later on. So, it's going to be a nice day. So, we'll see you at the beach. Say bye, baby. So, me and the birthday girl, we're all done. It's about 8.30, 8.45. We are getting ready to have breakfast. We are going to have breakfast. And we might sit out by the pool. The pool in our hotel opened at 8 o'clock. So, um, yeah, that's what's next. Y'all, it was really nice starting the day at the, at the beach. Mm -hmm. And we saw a rainbow. All the things. It's so funny because, like, we our back was to it. So I had turned around randomly. I was like stretching my back. And I was like, it's a rainbow. I haven't seen a rainbow in a long time. So it's just really nice. And the sun is not blazing. Like it's a lot of clouds right now. So it's covering the sun. So anyways, y'all, look, I see the clouds in the background. It's cloudy. Oh, I love the clouds. Um, so anyways, yeah, we about to get ready to go to um, back towards our hotel we're eating breakfast at the place that we ate at yesterday which was in our hotel as well i had the chilaquiles and honey had an american breakfast which was like eggs bacon, bacon toast, toast, toast potatoes party. yeah so i don't know i want to try something different but that chilaquiles was good it was good i like the sauce i put it all my favorite uh-huh she has some sauce on the side so anyways y'all we'll see y'all we'll see y'all uh for breakfast All right, y'all, it is time for the day party. Look at my honey looking good. I'm feeling good, looking good. Look at my hair, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we getting ready to go to um, our Uber. We're walking to the corner to meet our Uber. The place is not far away. It's like, what, 15 minutes away? Yeah. If that. Mm -hmm. Finally stopped raining, y'all. It was like scattered thunderstorms as well. Right. If it rained, y'all, we gonna use my shirt. 
That's our plan. We got a plan. <laughs> Cause this an umbrella in our hotel. We forgot it though. We would have lost it anyway. <laughs> we probably would have. And then they gonna charge it to me because it's, it's the umbrella. The hotel gave it to us. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, y'all off to the day party. We ready for a good time. We had fun getting ready. We put on our masks, our we robes. Did. We had some champagne. We was talking and all that stuff. So I'm ready. You ready? Yep. I'm ready. She said she wanna dance, so we about to go dance. You at the wrong time Then you caught me on that one night Girl, I wanna know How this thing get out of my controls Zip line into your timeline Hey, that body don't lie I didn't care for the hype, yeah But when I saw you tonight Ooh, girl You know just what you do And I'll go a thousand miles To show you that I'm right For your love Keep breaking necks when you passing them by Make sure they know that you take and love in your vibe Let's be forever tonight And I will let you make up your mind But I can't wait Where you coming over? Let me be your chauffeur When you came through that door, yeah Glowing like a headlight Independent all the way, got her bread right, yeah Hard to ignore Sexy body make a jaw hit the floor Won't you come over now? Just let me hold you down Nothing else matching your type Nothing else matching your type, yeah Oh, I feel the magic in the air And when you give me a taste I when you give me a taste, let me take it over. Drive it like a chauffeur. I will let you make up. It is September 10th, y'all. What time is it? It's probably like almost 8 o'clock. Yeah. Maybe it's after 8 by now. Um, and we have been resting all day, so. We did go to lunch, though. We went to lunch. We got a lot of rest. Honey wanted to, mm -hmm. she wanted to rest for birthday, so that's what she got. But well, we've been enjoying ourselves, y'all. It's already felt like that we've been out here for like, it's felt like a week already and we still have all day tomorrow too and we don't leave super early on monday you know, so tuesday. i mean tuesday my bad mm -hmm. so we out at the beach right now honey wanted to pop a bottle of champagne she wanted to take some pictures i'm gonna show y'all her pictures too y'all i'm gonna insert some clips so y'all can see how good she out here looking okay <laughs> she she 40 she fine and she favored that's what she said right yes yes so yeah we having a good time uh we are going to stk later on today for or tonight they have like a late night happy hour, so that's uh -huh. what she wanted to do. So that's what we're doing. So we just having a good time, y'all. We chilling. And we shout out to Toy. We just saw a hairstylist right now. Yes, and look, all her product walking around <laughs> the beach. Okay. Yeah, we just ran into her and her family, so they're going on a cruise. Mm -hmm. um, but anyways, yeah. So we having a good time, and it feels really good. It's about eighty five degrees right now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I want to just check in real quick. So that's it, y'all. We'll see y'all later on. We we'll see you. Um, I'm, I'm gonna say STK is next, but whatever we do, maybe we'll see y'all in the room. But no, if we not, don't know. We'll see y'all shortly. We'll see you later. <laughs> morning what's up y'all today is um it's monday it is september 11th um man saying that september 11th you know 
just thinking about all the things that happened on this day in 2001. And you know what's really interesting too is that um, we were actually, so we're leaving tomorrow. This is our last full day in Miami. And it, as I just said, September 11th, it made me think about that when we were planning this trip, we were initially supposed to leave today. But I told my honey how uncomfortable I am flying on 9-11. I'm very uncomfortable flying on 9-11. And let me tell you why. I, I, don't, I may have shared this with y'all, but me and my mom were in Texas. One year we went to go visit our family. We were in San Antonio. And we flew back, we flew back on 9-11. I wasn't even thinking about, I mean, like I always think about what happened on 9-11, yes, but I had never flown on the day or anything. You know what I mean? Um, and it was just very strange, very eerie. Like the flight wasn't even, it wasn't even 50% full. It was maybe 30, 40% full. And all of us were just looking at each other like somebody was gonna do something the entire flight everybody was on edge the entire time so it wasn't a super long flight i think our flight was like maybe i don't know three hours maybe something like that but the entire time i just felt like everybody was just on edge like looking at each other you know what i'm saying like constantly looking at people in front of you next to you behind you that's really how it felt you know it was just like this weird gut feeling and there was this woman who had a baby and she was walking the entire time and I feel like all of us were suspicious of her. I don't know why, but it was just because of what happened on 9-11. Um, so I, I promised myself after that that I would never fly again because I didn't like that feeling. Um, and yeah, so when we were planning this trip, like I said, I we were supposed to leave today. But I was like, nah, like I got to stick to, I got to honor my feelings around that because I didn't like that feeling. And I can't guarantee that I won't feel like that again. Granted, we don't have a long flight. It's just... I just can't do it. So that's one of my things. I don't fly on 9-11, y'all. Um, also, I was thinking about how much rest we've gotten, y'all. We, When I tell you we've been in here tearing it up, like just laying around, taking hella naps. Okay, so we have lunch plans today at 1-something. I, I got to look at the reservation. Maybe 1-15, 1-30. I'm probably not going to get out the bed until, I don't know, 11-30, maybe to get up and get dressed like I'm just not in a rush to get up and go and me and honey were sitting here just talking about like how how important we were we really do prioritize rest when it comes to vacation um all the trips that we've taken together this is something that we always do excuse me you know we have our fun we do the things we really want to do but I love that she is down to rest as much as I am um it you know actually resting I needed to sleep but I, let me tell y'all the, was it the first night, babe, when I was in here tearing it up? Or was yeah, it? Yeah, it was the first night. I think it was the first night. When I tell you I was face down, ass up. No, it's not face down, ass up. <laughs> <laughs> I was face down in the bed, though. Y'all, I was gone. I was gone because... Right. I was gone because, like, oh, we she wanted to go to happy hour. You wanted to go to happy hour? And, and, the and she wanted to go to the beach. Y'all slept through all of that. I slept through everything because, like, okay, I was like, all right, I'm going to take an hour nap. Y'all, I was tearing it up. I tore it up because I realized, too, that... So, my parents left September 5th. We came to Miami September 7th. And I did a lot with my parents, you know. And I'm glad that we did. I, I wouldn't change anything about it. But I realized that once things kind of slowed down, I've been laying in this comfortable-ass bed, that I was tired. I was very tired. Um, so, I just been tearing it up. So, yeah. Her and I do pretty good with prioritizing... Um, rest you know like this wasn't a trip where we felt like we had to like jam pack our days with a bunch of shit you know um i've definitely had trips like that but i feel like now at this stage of my life i like having options you know i do my research and stuff i love to research y'all yo i am the research queen okay i will research it down i will give you options for any day of the week but that doesn't necessarily that i mean that i have to do something every day um, but I like having options. I, I don't like jam packing my schedule though, you know? So yeah, <sighs> our last full day and it has felt like a vacation y'all It has. I think I mentioned yesterday when we were at the beach. Um, it, it's felt like we've been here already for a week, you know, because you have those trips where it feels rushed. You feel like you blink and it's over. I haven't felt like that at all. Like our days have felt really long. And I was kind of thinking like, 
does a part of that have to do with the fact that so the first time I came to Miami um there was a time difference so I came from California so we flew for five hours and plus you know you had to add that three hours on once we got here you know so the day really went by fast the first day so I'm wondering if being in the same time zone played a difference too like I didn't have to adjust to the time or anything at all so I don't know either way I'm glad the trip has gone the way that it has my honey has done the things that she's wanted to do we're going to wrap a couple things up today that she wanted to do um and it's just been a great trip it has you know what I didn't talk about y'all real quick was the day party we went to on Saturday when I tell y'all we had a good fucking time we had a time baby we did we were we were only there for two hours because we had plans to go to the cigar lounge afterwards um but it was fun and i just found it random i found it on eventbrite i found a couple things on eventbrite actually that were like some dope options and one thing we were going to go to on friday we were just too tired to go but the day party was dope it was and day party is totally my vibe i'm not really a like hang out at night club kind of person but i got you on a day party i'm i'm down to hang out and have a good time between about what four and nine that's that's my speed and so we found this day party um, I think it's called Afro Code. Afro Code MIA is the one that that um, threw it. Um, it was at this venue called Brick. It's like the, in the Winwood area. They have parties every Saturday, free before five. It was dope. The DJ was on point. He had a great personality. We was dancing. Honey had a good old time, y'all. I won't get into the details. <laughs> I won't get into the details. Uh, but just know she had a good time, and that's all that matters. And I did too. So we we had fun. We did. They had food. We had empanadas. We had beer while we were there. It was nice. We had a really good time. Like, overall, the crowd was dope. It was a good mix of, like... It was a good mix in terms of, like, age. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, it was cool. We had a really we had a really good time. I actually wish... Because the Cigar Lounge really didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to. I kind of wish we would have stayed at the day party longer. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. Speak. Right? Do you wish you would say? Speak on it. Because I'm like, well, how are we going to smoke the cigars we got from there? Because, like, yeah, we almost got to go back there to smoke them. Damn like, near. I'm not going back there. Nah. The cigar lounge was all right. I would not need to go back, though. But, um, because, you know, we find a lounge anywhere we go, y'all. We're going to smoke for sure. But, um, you know, I wouldn't change nothing about the trip. No, I'm lying. I would. I still would have wanted to get cigars, but we could have got it from somewhere else. I just wish we would have stayed the day party. We could have stayed for like another, but I could have stayed really until the end. Could you? Yeah, it was lit. I could have stayed until the end. I wish we would have stayed until the end. That That's one thing I would have changed. Um, and honestly, when I found it on Eventbrite, I didn't really have a whole lot of expectations. Like, I'm like, we're going we gonna to pull up. We're going to go. And we had fire seats. We didn't even know we had this season. We had, and, uh, we just sat down. We just, because we got there so early. We probably, it started at, I think the door, I think the doors open at like three something. Three, yeah. three something. We got there like maybe four, third, four, four thirty. Mm -hmm. somewhere we got there between like 4 15 4 30 we got there and when we got there we just sat down because like it was a bunch of like benches and they were open y'all we sat down in front of these two fans when i tell you everybody was sweating hot as hell and everybody kept on coming to the table that we were at because we had these fans blowing directly on us so yeah we had like amazing like amazing seats and stuff um but yeah that's the one thing i would have changed but overall the trip has been amazing honey how's the trip been great You've been enjoying your 40th birthday. Very much so. Things have gone down though exactly the way you wanted them to. And some. And then some. Y'all, her on that beach yesterday. Just the the pure fucking joy in her eyes and just all over her. Like it was just a joy that washed over her. She wanted to go out on that beach and open that bottle of champagne. I'm like, baby, this is your world and I'm just in it. And it was just dope. Like, you know, recording her, taking her pictures and she just looks so free and so confident and just i don't know y'all it was just like it, it really kind of felt spiritual didn't you feel that way very much so it that's how i felt again. that's that's how i felt it felt spiritual for me just witnessing her um just stepping into this new this new part of life you know so all right y'all enough talking enough from me uh we'll see you at lunch we are supposed to be we're not even are we going to lunch babe yeah we going okay we're gonna go to gianni's which is a restaurant at the Versace Mansion. Um, so the mansion is open. You can go for like lunch. You can go for dinner. And it's also a hotel too. And it's really close to our hotel. So we could walk there if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. we can. So we're going to lunch. Um, 
we may go back to STK because we didn't end up eating last night. We just had drinks. So we want to try their, um, the food. And I don't know. So anyways, we will see y'all at, we'll see y'all for lunch. We'll see you there. What's up, y'all? Today is Tuesday, September 12th. It's like 9 20, 9 25 in the morning. Honey is packing her things. My things are already packed. Our vacation has come to an end. Um, we are about to get ready to check out of our hotel and get a lift to the Fort Lauderdale airport. Um, yesterday, after we left um, the Versace mansion, we just came back to the hotel. It was so hot, y'all. It was so hot. Like, I think yesterday was the hottest day, the most humid day since we've been here. So it was really hot. Um, we came back from lunch. We took a nap. We ended up ordering Thai food. Like, we was just in for the night pretty much, which was fine with us. Like, we was chilling. But let me tell y'all about, let me give you a quick review about lunch at the Versace Mansion at Gianni's. <sighs> I'm going to give it a five. I give it a five for the service and the food. The the space itself, like the mansion, the, the hotel, the restaurant, is nice. It's decorated nice. It's beautiful. It is. It's very nice. Um, but like I said, it's the service and the food. The food is very, very mid. Like, very mid. Like, honey. Okay, so we ended up, they have this lunch special, right? Where you end up being able to get an appetizer. You choose an entree and you get dessert so honey had the caesar salad she got the salmon which came with broccolini and some carrots and then she got the sorbet i got the caesar salad the i got some ravioli mm -hmm. and i got the chocolate mousse that's what i ended up getting that was the special for yesterday and honestly just no <laughs> the caesar salad was cool but honestly the caesar salad in our hotel was way better has been better we've had the caesar salad a few times in our hotel way better just the sauce the croutons was better um honey's vegetables okay her salmon needed some salt mm -hmm. her broccolini i enjoy the way we made broccolini way better it just lacked flavor it didn't have any flavor it i mean it looked nice nice and bright and green it looked fresh and all that stuff but it just it wasn't good it just lacked flavor, in my opinion. My ravioli was cool. Like I said, it was just me. It just average ravioli, nothing special. Um, and then if you have never been to Miami, Miami, most places charge an automatic 20, 15 to 20, 18 to 20 percent gratuity, no matter how big your party is. And they do it because based on my research, they do it because Miami attracts a lot of people from different countries that aren't accustomed to tipping like we do in the US. So what they do is they automatically add the gratuity, right? And they do that because a lot of their employees wouldn't make money otherwise. Um, because if you if, if, if people come here from other countries and they don't tip, they just gonna pay the bill and leave, right? So that's something that we're used to in the US. So anyways, there's this automatic 20% at most places. So our guy that was our server, y'all, this man took our order and gave us the bill that was all he did and we gave him 20 percent. i don't mind giving 20 percent for somebody who is giving us service he didn't do anything he didn't bring our food he didn't check on us he didn't give us water he didn't give us bread he didn't do nothing like he i'm not kidding y'all we only saw him when he took our order and then when he brought us the check those are the two times we saw that man that's it so 
I have a problem with that. I don't mind tipping. I tip all the time. You know, I'm accustomed to that. But I want to tip the people that actually did something, you know. So it sucks for everybody else that helped us that didn't get a part of that money, you know. Or I'm assuming they don't. It's my assumption. Um. So, yeah, I, I don't have to go back, though. I don't have to go back. I, I really don't. I don't have to go back to that. Mm -mm, no. And Honey got sick, y'all. Her stomach was messed up. She was not feeling that great afterwards at all. So, anyways, y'all. Overall, we had a great time. I wanted to share that with you, though. I wanted to give you a review of what I felt about Gianni's. Um, and if you're in Miami, if you've been wanting to go, you should go and have your own experience. You may feel completely different than I did. You may order something totally different. Um, I even believe that sometimes the food is different depending on who's in the kitchen cooking. You know what I'm saying? So... And people have off days as well. So that happens. We all do. Uh, but anyways, y'all, we had a great time in Miami. My honey enjoyed the hell out of her 40th birthday and did everything she wanted to do. And that's all that matters to me. We had a great time. We we laughed. We partied. We drank. We hit the beach. We did everything. Um, we ate some really good food. We had we made, we met some great people since we've been out here, too. Um, but, yeah, now it's time to get back to the airport and get back to life. Get back to the reality um so if you enjoyed the video please be sure to give it a big thumbs up i will meet y'all in the comments make the best of the day y'all be good to yourself peace i be beaming i be booming down that block down that block everywhere you go you know they know i'm hot